Hello, this is Janelle. Welcome back to the Inspiring Wit TV channel. I usually talk about fashion and style and extending your wardrobe as far as you possibly can and beauty and lifestyle and travel whenever we can. And today I'd like to welcome Mario, my partner, to the channel. Hi. Hello. Um, as you saw, if you watched and if you subscribe, uh, in my last video, I was revealing that we are pregnant. Yeah! <laughs> We are pregnant um, and this video is a QA and a video. We put some questions out to Instagram and uh, I've got some here to go through. We're going to answer it together. While we eat our lunch, um, <laughs> we've got this cheese and veggie board. Really, I just took out all the things that we need to eat before we fly away for a week tomorrow, as long as everything goes okay today. Um so we have a nice spread. <laughs> You've got to explain what that is. It looks really weird. <laughs> so uh, I think it's a king oyster mushroom. Right. Garum, which is one of our favorite uh, Italian restaurants here in Perth, gave me a bunch of their provador items that they started making and selling, and we needed to eat them. Uh, so I've included a few like olives and there's mushrooms and then there's like a fig jam, which we've been making our way through. And then we've got some cheese from down south from our trip last weekend and lots of veggies and fruit. Anyway, so now that we've <laughs> painted the scene, <laughs> you'll uh, have to excuse us while we eat as we go through this, but this should be fun. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. Baby is bigger than this. The baby is definitely bigger than that olive seed. Um, so, okay. Question one. Question one. When did you decide you wanted to start a family? And the baby was coming. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, well, end of last year. End of last year. I think our plan had been to go – move overseas midway through 2020, which just was a big cosmic joke that we'd been working towards that for years. And, uh, yeah, then we had to extend, it out, extend our lease, rethink our whole, like, what we were going to do, plan and... Live the COVID life. <laughs> yeah, live the COVID life like everybody else. Um, it's very safe here, so we were lucky that we hadn't already left, which could have been a lot worse. Um, but then, yeah, towards the end of the year, I went from being afraid of pregnancy um, to I think it was all I thought about. Once I decided that I wanted to have a baby and start a family, it was the only thing I thought about. So I'd say like late last year. But you had already said for years that you would have the baby for me if you could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if the technology was there, we could have a junior situation with a, the baby inside me, but it's, it's not there yet. It's not <laughs> quite there yet. When did that movie come out? The Arnold Schwarzenegger? 90s. Yep. 90s. Or when all the good movies came out. <laughs> <laughs> so Mario had planned earlier to have a baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, so since last year. Question number two. Can you read this one? We're like. How long was I off the pill? <laughs> How long was it? Okay. You said to read it. That's the way it was written down. Okay. <laughs> Moved out, etc. Etc. How long was I off the pill, etc. Okay. I have not. The question about contraception. I have not been on any proper contraception for, I think, like 10 years or more. Um, I went off the pill, yeah, at least 10 years ago. I think when I was studying at um, my arts course, there was a few girls there that were like, the pill is awful, blah, blah, blah. I don't know what it's doing to your body. And I was like, you're right. I do not know what it's doing to my body. And I am not needing it for trying not to have babies or anything. I think I was just on it because it gave me the option to skip my period if I needed to. Uh, and, yeah, there didn't seem to be any point being on it. So I've been off it for at least 10 years and I've been not – you know, taken anything else or had implants or whatever. So, fair long time. Um, how long were we trying? Hey, I didn't get to say how long I've been off the pill. 
I think we can <laughs> skip that part. <laughs> How long were we trying? Three months. Hmm. That's three months, wasn't it? Yeah. What a jip. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a jip? What do you mean? I was, I was hoping for at least six months of trying. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to want more practice. Okay. Um, Always keen for more practice. <laughs> Mm. Well, actually, it was kind of funny. The first time we were like, right, we're going to get in the zone and try. I think we were both on, kind of convinced that it would happen straight away. <laughs> it was such a, like a nice, um, do you want me to tell you that? Is that weird to tell that story? No, I'll just say it. So, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> just, let's, let's just get it all out there. So we stayed at um, Como the Treasury for Mario's birthday and we were like, yes, we're going to start trying. And this was the first time that it was like, you know, it was beautiful. It was my first time. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to know didn't use contraception. <laughs> Why did I do this with you? Um, no, but we were staying in like the most beautiful hotel, the most beautiful room. And um, it was all like we'd had a nice, beautiful dinner at Wildflower. And then we were like, yeah, okay, we can officially start trying from tonight. And um, then I guess like, you know, uh, around the time that I would normally get my period, I got my period and um, we were a bit shocked that they hadn't worked because we mm-hmm. were just like, I think it's going to work straight away. Right. Super sperm. Super sperm. But actually um, when we thought we were going to start trying, I expected it to take a full year or so because um, so many friends had told me that that would be the case or that was the case for them. Um, and I am 37, 36? What 37. 37. So I thought it would take a bit longer. Um, but yeah, so I'm glad it didn't take too long because, I mean, <clears throat> I have to say this sen- sensitively because so many people um, go through a lot trying to fall pregnant and – we were just really, really lucky that it was, yeah. So we started trying December and then we found out we were pregnant in March. So there were not very many times that I had to have that disappointed moment when I got my period um, or have too many tests that came back negative because um, it's not a fun feeling uh, at all and I barely experienced it. So um, I just am really sensitive of people who go through so much to have their babies. And my heart goes out to everyone who's trying. So um, everyone has a different journey, so. Yeah. Yeah. No one's the same? No. Mm-hmm. And actually, the time that we found out, oh, wait, I don't know if that comes up in the question. How do we find out is the next question. Okay. <laughs> so when we found out that we were pregnant, um, it was the month that I was like, no, nah, we're not really going to try as much this month because if we have a baby Like if it works out that timing, the baby will be born in December, which is when your birthday is and also Christmas. And I was like, I don't want to have all that time where I plan my kid's birthday party and then everyone comes over and just spends the whole birthday party talking about their damn Christmas plans (laughs) Mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever the, the kid just, you know, is overlooked for Christmas anyway, because that's what you experience. So I was like, no, we're not really going to try this month. And, of course, because we didn't really try, <laughs> that's when it happened. <laughs> it's more relaxed probably, less stress of worrying whether it's going to work or not. Yeah. And also I think I usually was doing 90 minutes or so of HIIT training every day. And that particular month, I think I just had a really painful period the month before and I was like, Ugh, I know it's coming up now or whatever. So I stopped exercising for a bit before. And that's probably, who knows, probably when we fell pregnant. So, and how did we find out? You can ask this one. I'm going to eat something. What do you mean, how did we find out? How did you find out? You said that you felt like something had changed and you kept it a secret that your period had been missed for like a a week, week and a half, something. I thought you knew. Oh, you were were tracking it. (laughs) I was tracking it. 
I'm really bad at keeping secret. And we, we were on rations for pregnancy tests. So we could only we could only afford on our, our meagre salaries three pregnancy tests and we'd already blown through two. So we're on our, our last pregnancy test, so that was really our, our last shot. And so so we did that one. <laughs> the results came up instantly, but I did like a quick flip over and then had to wait the allotted amount of time. <laughs> and and then, then we knew. <laughs> then it was on. My eyes are watering. <laughs> I you said, have to explain you pulled, this. You pulled us out of the focus zone. You ran away so far. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Is it focusing again? You have mm, to explain. Maybe. Um. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You have to explain it. What yes. you mean by the rations of the um? We need to explain it. That's what we're on the rations. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There are, there are only three pregnancy tests. Guys, I'm really stingy with money. Um. Oh, especially, I mean, like... Unless it's shoes and handbags. <laughs> okay, Always. if it's not fashion-related or beauty or whatever, I'm quite stingy with my gold. And um, <laughs> I was like, no, I just want to put off having the extra pregnancy test because I didn't want to have to go out and buy new ones for, like, $10 or however much it costs to buy a set of um, pregnancy tests. Uh, so I put it off as long as possible, but then, like, it was over a week uh, by then and we were sitting here and I just had been, we'd gone for a walk and it was all I thought about the day before. It was all I thought about because I was like, the time period's pretty late now. And I was like, oh, wait a week and then it was over a week and then I was like, oh, we don't have much time before we're going out to dinner, remember, mm-hmm. with friends. Um, but we had, it was a Sunday afternoon and we had like a very small window and Mario was like, you've got to try it now. Oh, the sun's the sun's out. Oh, that's nice. It's been raining. It's blowing out. It's blowing us out. Um, yeah. So, Mario was like, "Might as well try it now. See what happens." And yeah, as he said, he saw it straight away. <laughs> he didn't cry. It's nothing bad. Either. Wait, I didn't cry either. Actually, I thought I would have yeah. tears. There was a lot of a lot of shaming yeah. for no tears. <laughs> that's true. I usually get all these happy tears and I'm overcome with emotion just watching, like, I don't know, ads for anything. But yet, I didn't cry that. Pause for a moment. Mm, Maybe we'll take a break. Okay, where were we? Um, Are you scared about being pregnant? Not anymore. I was before, but I've done lots of research and reading. I think I'm good. I'm excited. Yeah, it's, it's a big step, so sometimes, maybe a little bit. Yeah, when things feel a bit funny, I've been like... It's hard, hard to know. But maybe it's more like the scared, being scared of the unknown, more the fact of being pregnant. Knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely do your research is good. Will you wear maternity clothing or just normal? Um, I don't... I haven't thought about it yet. <laughs> My shirt's kind of big. Mm. You wear my clothes. Does yeah, that count so, as maternity clothes? Actually, I have worn a bit of Mario's clothes, but no, that doesn't count. Um, no, I haven't looked at maternity clothes yet, and I don't plan to unless I get really desperate. Yeah, one of those moo-moos from the 80s. <laughs> well, <laughs> I have. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. <laughs> That's a fun pregnancy side thing. Um, I've got a lot of... Dresses that are quite roomy in that area anyway, um, swing dresses, that sort of thing, and some knit dresses like the one I'm wearing. Um, the only thing I guess I'm really missing is jeans because basically now only one or two pairs of my jeans fit and I had to buy new ones that were bigger sizes. So I bought Heat Tech Uniqlo stretchy jegging type jeans, um, but they are like I bought them in size medium where I'd normally be a size extra small so that there's plenty of room for the bump to grow just to get me through winter time. And then, yeah, I mean, around the house I'm just wearing track pants. So no maternity clothes just now, but I will probably share my maternity outfits in another video later on. So the question on the next one is, do you have a name picked out? <laughs> I'm not allowed to say, but we do. It's Janelle's only secret she's kept so far. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes, we have a name. We're very excited about it. And uh, my mum also asked a question in the thing on Instagram. 
uh, ask me if it's an Italian name. She's going to have to wait and find out. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody else, it's a secret between the two of us. Um, but it was good. It has been good being able to say the name to the baby. It's been really nice. And we can picture, I don't know, picture what the room will be like for the nursery and stuff like that. And Yeah. But we have names. Yeah. Um, do you want to have more than one? Yeah. <laughs> Put too much cheese in okay, my mouth okay, at yeah, once. <laughs> um, for my answer, yes. I want to have more than one uh, because... Is it six? No. <laughs> Lucky number six. No. Uh, I grew up with a brother and I loved having my brother um, around and um, actually... Being around your family has been interesting to see what it's like to have a bigger family. Um, oh, that's our neighbours. Hopefully, hopefully you can't hear them. <laughs> I always stop recording if I hear them come home. There we go. Um, how many people are in your family? Four. Four, Four kids. Four kids. Four kids. Four kids. So, I don't want four. <laughs> that's too many. I mean, like. If it happened, it happened. But I think that would happen. I think it just happened. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know if it just planned out that many. I don't know. Well, ideally, at least two. We and so much so that we got the double pram already with the extra seat. <laughs> um, and because I am again thirty-seven, uh, by the time I have the baby, it'll be I'll be thirty-eight. I'm basically wanting to just sort of do that as quick as I can. Um, and this can just be my pregnant mama period hmm. for a couple of years. And then hopefully by the time the babies are a bit older, we can travel again and go overseas and explore. So now just this feels like the right time. <clears throat> uh, how did you think it was the right time? I think we've already covered that. Um, basically hmm. that was kind of it. Now it's such a weird time, especially in Australia. We're still stuck here for years, so. I don't think that's the reason. I think it's that might have been the thing that started it, but then you just had a, had a shift in your mindset. Totally, and it's so weird that I was always the person that I even wrote blog posts about it that I didn't think I'd ever want to have kids, and I think it was a place of fear talking <laughs> because I was so afraid of what pregnancy would be like and birth and whether uh, you know, having children would fit in with my lifestyle, but even the last year of COVID and things like it's that classic cliched thing that in years time we'll look back and be like, oh, COVID babies. But it really did just change the perspective of how you lived your life and what what was the most important thing, mm-hmm. I think. Okay. How are you finding pregnancy? How are you finding pregnancy? I'm getting through it. <laughs> I, think, I think you've been pretty good. It hasn't been... As bad as the horror stories, and I think that's what happens a lot of the time. So you just hear the horror stories about pregnancy, and that's that's what put a lot of people off. Mm-hmm. But I'm not speaking like I haven't gone through it, but from observing Janelle, it doesn't seem as bad as people have made it out, and yeah. she just keeps pushing through. And yeah, I think just being healthy, just trying to be as healthy as you can, and all the veggies. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it, I thought it would be more scary, but. You just whatever comes up, you deal with. And my whole mindset has been more calm and more positive throughout. So that's made a difference. Um, yes, surrounding yourself with the right people to make sure that you're where you're getting information from is the right source. Mm, I think that's very true because I get upset. The only times I've really been upset is when I've been talking to people who aren't positive and yeah, don't take any of the positive things on board um, or put their head in the sand a little bit and didn't do research. Um, again, I think knowledge is power. The more you know, the less things come as a shock and that can really, like, be the thing that people remember later on is this happened, it was horrible, but really if they had have done some research, they might have found out about that thing and been prepared. Or, yeah, but I think it's not as bad as I thought. Although the nausea, I definitely thought I wouldn't have that. 
so bad. I honestly was like, yeah, I'll be all right. I'm healthy. You get it a little bit maybe, but probably fine. Friends of mine have never had it. Lucky. Lucky. <laughs> when did we tell people? Do we need to make it brighter again? Mm, okay. Do you think? Yeah. Do you need crunch in? Yeah. Do eat something crunchy now. Intermission. <laughs> when did you tell people? We started telling people earlier than we had thought. <laughs> Actually, I picked one friend to talk to about it by the six-week mark, Emily, because uh, she had shared with me when she was pregnant last time um, <clears throat> what she had gone through and stuff like that, and I just – yeah, it was a point where I just wanted someone who'd gone through it to talk to uh, that wouldn't share it with anyone else. I knew I could trust her. And, yeah, that was really good, actually, because I could be like, is this weird? I feel this. This is weird, right? And, she, you know, talk about pregnancy loss and things like that. That was obviously comes up in those initial um, months. Yeah, then we told your your parents earlier than we planned. They were, yep. they were upset because their trip mm. their trip had been cancelled and we were about to take them to the airport. Classic COVID. Mm. Um, in Australia, they have all these snap lockdowns if there's a case that comes up in one of the states. And, yeah, they were about to go to the airport and then their flight basically got cancelled and they were really down. Uh, so we were like, should we tell them? Throw, just throw some good news. <laughs> so it made them, I think, pretty happy to be grandparents again. Uh, and then I told my family. How did I tell my family? Oh, my gosh. I, Over the phone. Over the phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It was Mother's Day and we got them on the, like, FaceTime thing and told them. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, that was exciting. So we had my brother, my mum and my dad. And I think they were just confused. My mom seemed in shock. Same day we told the rest of my family. Yeah, then the rest of Mario's family, all the siblings and stuff. We just told the adults. We didn't tell the kids, um, the nieces and nephews. Uh, and then we told them once we'd had our first scan and we kind of felt more confident telling people. It was like at the second trimester we told them. Um, and that was really cute. We had like a little brunch morning at Mario's parents' house and we played some games and um, no one knew the gender, but that was also the day that we shared the gender with them and uh, we got the kids to sit down together and do pass the parcel and inside I'd like wrapped up chocolates and stuff and then in the bottom we'd gotten this little tiny baby toy uh, out of the old toys at your parents' house and I'd wrap that up as in the middle prize um and at first they didn't get it all the older kids got it quickly mm -hmm. and then what did eric say because <laughs> he wanted i want a baby he was like i want a baby <laughs> <laughs> uh so there's a little tip for you, you can wrap up old toys from the 80s and kids still get excited if you put it in a pass and pass them. Mm -hmm. um yeah, so that was really cute. And then that was so excited and they've been so excited ever since. The kids have been really cool. That's all they talk about. And even your niece has, like, the other day when we were there, she was, like, she was, like, on top of me. She wouldn't leave me alone and she usually doesn't want, you know, to be near anybody. Or <laughs> Not anything. the favourites. No. So <coughs> I need some water. Intermission. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so telling them was really cute and then we shared the gender that day uh, as well, which was fun. We did that whole thing of popping a balloon um, just at the house and everyone some, was excited. Some more enthusiastically than others. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of like yelling or oh, popping the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> popping the balloon, you mean? Yeah. Mm. I might have accidentally almost stabbed Mario's sister who was holding the balloon for us. <laughs> I, came out cycling style. <laughs> I had a, we had like um, steak knives 
And I just came at it like, but then like by the time this giant balloon burst, there was like her hand holding the thing and that was like so close for me that I was like, ah! <laughs> um, That's Too really excited. fun. Yeah, there's lots of video to replay. Everyone's been replaying that. Mm-hmm. Um, but that was really fun. So that was kind of how we told people. And then friends we told over breakfasts and stuff when we caught up with them. Uh, and then the ones that we couldn't share, family and friends we just shared with over FaceTime or um, Messenger and stuff like that. And now we've shared it with social media. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, one more question. What are you saying this this time? Am I going to get it right? <laughs> well, all right. Okay. The last question is what is the gender? And if you watched my last video, I teased it because I was – almost going to keep the gender reveal video in from when you sent me a little package that really told me what the gender was Um, and I cut that out of the video to put it into this one so I'll play that clip now and you will see what we're having (laughs) are you gonna play it now yeah insert clip here (laughs) not in real life no okay Oh my god, I'm so excited. Um, so I just had a, a delivery at the door and <laughs> I kind of knew straight away what it was. Um <laughs> because ugh, we had this whole thing where we couldn't find out. We had our harmony test on, and then they said that they couldn't um tell us the gender, even though we ticked that we wanted to get the um, results for the gender. Uh, And so this was late last week, but we at least found out that the harmony test results um, came back, that it was very low risk. So huge relief. But um, yeah, we didn't get, you know, there was a mix up with the paperwork and they didn't think we wanted to know the gender of the baby. And uh, our doctor ended up calling them and it was the weekend, so they couldn't go through and do the test again uh but then he said that he got through to them on monday and that they could redo the test and um i said to mario because his our doctor is his one of his closest friends um he will obviously text him the results every time and so i was like mario you're gonna find out before me so if you find out what it is you have to keep it a secret and then surprise me somehow (laughs) And I, like, gave him a few suggestions and stuff. Um, <laughs> but I just had this delivery at the door and there was a note. And I rang him before I opened the note just in case it was just a some from, something from someone else because it didn't say on the outside who it was from. Um, <laughs> but, no, it was from him. And um, I'm just going to show you what it is. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> he had convinced me that it was going to be a boy. <laughs> I thought in my own self that it was going to be a girl. I mean, we were going to be happy either way, but he literally had convinced me that it was going to be a, a boy and I was excited about that. I mean, I'm going to have had this reaction for either way um but he had so convinced me that it was going to be a boy that I had gotten to the point I was like how was I so wrong like I literally thought it was going to be a girl and then to see this is such a shock um yeah and I just facetimed him and he was like I actually found out on Tuesday morning today's Wednesday uh but he kept it secret till he could um go and get uh something organized and he said he went to this other florist and they weren't very good um and because my friend Irene had sent me these incredible flowers from my favorite florist Fox and Rabbit he was like I can't be outdone by Irene um so (sighs) he uh, also rang um, the girls at Fox and Rabbit and organised this for me and it's so beautiful. <laughs> I 
I just can't believe it. I'm so excited. I think it just sort of makes it feel even more real because it's been obviously quite real this whole time. I've been feeling so sick and actually yesterday and today because I'm 12 weeks now. Yesterday and today are the first days that I haven't actually felt sick. So oh, it's so good. But uh, oh, Irene's ringing me. I have to go. One. It's a girl. <laughs> you didn't say it. <laughs> I thought it'd be awkward for you. <laughs> <laughs> you were meant to say it's a girl. It's a girl. It's a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. <laughs> Nailed it. Um, so we're having a girl, which is really exciting. I mean, we were excited either way. I I thought that it was a girl from the beginning, but. I was convinced otherwise. Because I'm so convincing. <laughs> it was so convincing. So convincing. So I just, I think when you look at that clip, I am crying so much because I think it was before we had any scans and up until then we just had some blood tests and stuff like that and t- tests done and I guess like I hadn't really got much of a belly or anything and like things were obviously happening and feeling all this stuff but it just felt more real once we found out the gender and getting that big bunch of flowers. Oh my God. It was so beautiful. It was my favorite florist. You did so good finding um, something to send me better than I expected. (laughs) Um, And so I was just overcome with emotion and so happy. And yeah, even to the point where I'd, you'd convinced me so much that I had started just looking at boys clothes online. And like you hadn't started shopping yet. I know, because that day I did <laughs> shopping instantly as soon she, as I found out. She can out. wear whatever clothes she likes. Well, she yeah. might, might like. Yeah, yeah. And we've got. Boys, boys clothes. <laughs> yeah. We've got a lot of like gender neutral clothes and blue um, stuff like that. Anyway, because I love blue and I wear blue and we're going to have photos together. Um, but yeah, it didn't make any difference really. But it was just that I thought it was one thing and then you convinced me it wasn't. And I just had the picture of her in my head. And I felt like she was with us, and that was awesome. Maybe just visualizing and seeing it more. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. But I'm like, I want our little boy as well. We might not even have a little boy <laughs> next time. Actually, that's where it would come in that we'd have more children. If we had like three girls in a row, I don't know what would happen. But if we had like another girl after this, I'd be like, okay, I want to try another time for a boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and reassess I say that now because I haven't had the kids and you haven't had one yet no <laughs> <laughs> I could be like oh, it was uh, too much I made a mistake <laughs> no um yes so now you know the gender yay I don't know everybody was asking me that was the main <laughs> thing that everybody was asking I don't really mind it was gonna be a cool sassy fun cheeky kid anyway uh I think we're inevitably just going to have super sassy, super cheeky kids. Um, you brought a picture with. I do have a picture. Yeah, so I'll insert a picture with Mario of what he looked like when he was little. So this, uh, these are some baby photos. Wait, I'll focus it. Awesome. Baby photos yeah. of me. So the one in this piece of cardboard Um, was the one that came from the Western Community Hospital when I was born back in 83. Um, And, yeah, that was – I weighed six pounds, nine ounces. And then the other picture is from Christmas Day that year, 1983. I like that my little um, nappy pants fluffy situation is so big. It's very fluffy. It's so cute, and I was the same size as the doll. Um, But we'll insert some pictures of – Mario in here as well. <laughs> I don't know how many there are. <laughs> so uh, who knows what this baby is going to look like. I was really white blonde uh, when I was born until like midway through primary school. And then it kind of became this goldenish colour. Uh, yeah, who knows. We've got very obvious I was features. born with this beard. You were born with this beard. <laughs> what an awkward thing on the playground. <laughs> <laughs> So manly. <laughs> Little Mario. <laughs> um, yeah, that wraps up our video, really, unless uh, you've got any other things you want to add. No. No? Just excited and 
See where it takes us. Yeah. Or should I show them the barn? I look very pregnant today. Hmm. I don't know if you can tell. Um, nope, not that way. Maybe this way. Can you tell there's like more bump? Maybe my hair's in the way. More bump <laughs> than normal. <laughs> anyway, that that's it. I don't know if you can see it. There's my bump. <laughs> just, just a bump. <laughs> um, it really came out more last weekend. So um, 19 weeks tomorrow. Go cool beans. <laughs> For doing this with me um i will be sharing more videos throughout and if you want to see more with mario please comment in the comments below because um i think this maybe and if you be don't fun. please comment in the comments below <laughs> <laughs> also tell me if you never want to see him again that would be quite awkward um but yeah like and subscribe i hugely appreciate any time i get a little notification that someone has joined the channel family it's so cool it's so cool um that's about it really bye, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you done yeah <laughs>